Could Canada's NORAD defense be secretly upgraded with a stealthier, smarter fighter? Forget everything you thought you knew about air defense. We're uncovering how one specific jet, the Gripen, isn't just another fighter, but a potential game changer that could give Canada an unprecedented strategic edge in the skies. Prepare to see the future of Canadian air power. The Gripen isn't just good, it's a strategic weapon that could fundamentally redefine Canada's NORAD capabilities. We're exposing the critical design advantages of this jet that few are talking about, revealing how it offers a unique, almost invisible edge in air defense scenarios. Get ready to challenge your assumptions about what's possible in modern aerial combat. In the frozen silence of the Canadian North, a question echoes through NORAD command rooms. Are our defenses ready for what's coming? NORAD, once the most advanced air shield on the planet, now faces an uncomfortable truth. Its systems were built for a different era. An era before stealth drones, hypersonic missiles, and radar-evading bombers blurred the line between peace and peril. Today, Russia and China are testing new long-range aircraft capable of slipping through radar nets once thought impenetrable. And Canada's vast Arctic, over 3 million square kilometers, remains the weakest link in that shield. The Royal Canadian Air Force knows it, the Allies know it. The urgency is growing because an outdated interceptor fleet can no longer guarantee air dominance. That's where a new contender quietly enters the conversation. The Saab Gripen, a jet designed not just to fly, but to outthink its enemies. When people hear the word stealth, they think of sharp angles, black paint, and radar-absorbing skin. But Sweden's Gripen E tells a different story, one where stealth isn't just about hiding, it's about thinking smarter. Unlike the F-35, which relies heavily on costly stealth coatings and maintenance-heavy shaping, the Gripen uses what experts call smart stealth. Its small radar cross-section, advanced composite materials, and efficient design naturally reduce detectability, but that's just the beginning. The real power lies inside, in its electronic warfare suite, a digital guardian that listens, learns, and deceives. It can jam enemy radars, mimic false signatures, and even make itself disappear from hostile sensors, all in real time. Paired with sensor fusion technology, the Gripen turns data into dominance. It merges radar, infrared, and electronic intelligence into one seamless picture, allowing the pilot to see everything while being seen by no one. This is stealth beyond radar, a blend of brains and engineering that lets the Gripen survive and strike in the world's most contested airspace. In modern air defense, the most powerful weapon isn't speed or stealth. It's information. And this is where the Gripen steps beyond being just a fighter jet. It becomes a networked command node in the sky. Built for 21st century warfare, the Gripen E's data link architecture allows it to share and receive information faster than any traditional NATO jet. Within NORAD's vast network, that means every Gripen could act as a real-time sensor, scanning, analyzing, and relaying enemy movements across thousands of kilometers. Imagine this, a threat appears over the Arctic Circle. Within seconds, Gripen transmits radar, infrared, and EW data across NORAD's command chain. Ground stations, AWACS, and other aircraft respond instantly. No delay, no confusion. That's network-centric warfare in action, where Gripen's eyes and ears don't just protect its own mission, they amplify the awareness of the entire defense grid. And because the Gripen was engineered from the ground up for interoperability, it fits NORAD's ecosystem like a missing puzzle piece, efficient, affordable, and seamlessly connected. 
This isn't just about flying sorties, it's about building a smarter, faster, and united air shield over North America. In the vast emptiness of the Arctic, defense isn't just about speed, it's about presence. Every radar ping, every patrol, every interceptor launch sends a message. We are watching. And that's where the Gripen becomes more than just an aircraft. It becomes a psychological deterrent. For potential adversaries, the idea of a fast, unpredictable, and nearly invisible jet patrolling Canadian skies changes the equation. The Gripen's low observable profile and advanced electronic warfare systems make it difficult to detect, harder to target, and nearly impossible to ignore. From a strategic perspective, this means Canada can project power efficiently, maintaining sovereignty across its Arctic frontier without relying entirely on foreign fleets or billion-dollar maintenance programs. In a crisis, the Gripen's rapid turnaround time refuel, rearm, and relaunch within minutes ensures NORAD can respond instantly to incursions, whether from stealth bombers, drones, or long-range missile probes. It's not just defense, it's strategic readiness, built around agility, independence, and intelligence. And that silent deterrence, knowing an unseen jet could be anywhere, at any time, may be the most powerful weapon of all. As NORAD looks toward its next generation of air defense, one question stands at the center. Will Canada follow the old path or choose a smarter one? The Gripen E isn't just another jet in the catalog. It's a concept, one built on independence, efficiency, and adaptability. It doesn't try to outspend its rivals. It outsmarts them. For years, some critics claimed the Gripen was too light or not stealth enough, but time and testing have proven otherwise. Its stealth by design, digital warfare brain, and network integration make it uniquely suited for Canada's vast, unpredictable north. In a world where threats evolve by the minute, Canada needs a fighter that can evolve faster, not just in the hangar, but mid-flight. And that's what the Gripen offers, real-time adaptability, cost efficiency, and strategic autonomy. The question now isn't whether the Gripen can defend NORAD skies, it's whether Canada is ready to embrace a future built on smart defense, not expensive defense. If I'm being honest, the Gripen feels like the kind of jet that was built for Canada before Canada even realized it. It's not about having the flashiest aircraft on the tarmac or the loudest afterburner in the sky. It's about practical power, the ability to defend, respond, and adapt without waiting for permission or parts from someone else. When you look at the realities, the cold, the distance, the logistics, the grip and checks boxes that even fifth-gen jets struggle with. It's cost-efficient, independent, and built for the kind of geographical chessboard that defines Canadian defense. For me, this isn't about choosing sides between the F-35 and the Gripen. It's about asking the right question. Do we want a jet that looks impressive in a brochure, or one that's ready to launch from a frozen highway at a moment's notice? The Gripen represents something Canada hasn't had in a while, true autonomy in the skies. And in a world where alliances can shift overnight, autonomy might just be the most valuable stealth feature of all. What do you think? Could the Gripen truly redefine North American air defense? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Viper Jet Rings for more deep, unbiased analysis on global defense innovation. Because in the skies above the Arctic, the future isn't just about who flies faster. It's about who flies smarter.